Hi everybody, it's Miss McGuinness here. Today I'm going to read you the third part of The Enormous Crocodile by Roald Dahl. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, the last time we read the story we were on this page so this is where we will start. And these are the questions that you need to answer from today's reading. What does the word charged mean? Find and copy one word that tells us that Humpy Rumpy was moving at a very fast speed. And remember, if it says find and copy, that means you need to write the word down. Toto and Mary ran back to, is it A, the playground, B, jungle, or C, town? Only choose one. And at the end of the story, you need to make a prediction. What is clever trick? Number two. Suddenly, there was a tremendous whooshing noise. It was Humpy Rumpy the hippopotamus. He came crashing and snorting out of the jungle. His head was down low and he was galloping at a terrific speed. Look out, Toto! shouted Humpy Rumpy. Look out, Mary! That's not a coconut tree, it's the enormous crocodile, and he wants to eat you up. Humpy Rumpy charged straight at the enormous crocodile. Oh dear, I wonder if you can answer any of our questions from that passage so far. Let's have a look at what happens next. He caught him with his giant head and sent him tumbling and skidding over the ground. Owie! cried the crocodile. Help! Stop! Where am I? Toto and Mary ran back to the town as fast as they could. But crocodiles are tough. It is difficult for even a hippopotamus to hurt them. The enormous crocodile picked himself up and crept towards the place where the children's playground was. Now for clever trick number two, he said to himself. This one is certain to work. I'll give you a quick look. Oh, there we go. That was That's what's going to happen next. That's clever trick number two. We have to tune in next time to see what happens. Okay, so these are the answers to the questions I asked you at the beginning of part three of the enormous crocodile. So the first question was, what does the word charged mean? And to charge means to rush forward quickly or to attack. Question number two was find and copy one word that tells us that Humpy Rumpy was moving at a very fast speed. Let's have a look and see what the answer is. Okay, there's two options here. You could use the word galloping or the word terrific. And in the text it said he was moving at a terrific speed. Question number three was Toto and Mary ran back to A the playground, B the jungle or C the town? And the answer is C town. And the final question asked you to make a prediction. What is clever trick number two? Now you can make your own prediction at this point. Let's have a look what I chose. I think the trick will be the crocodile sleeping in the playground. You may have a better idea. I'd love to hear them. Tune in for part four to see what else the enormous crocodile gets up to. Bye, see you soon.